hello coders i hope you are coding well from today we are starting a new series on our channel where we will build e-commerce application in this application we'll use a spring boot as our backend and we'll use mysql as our db we will use angular as our uh, front end and we will use angular material for our ui this is the first part of the series and in this video i will show you a short demo of our product so let's get started so uh, this is the login page for our application and uh, we can enter the details and we can click login button to login in our application so i will use uh, the credentials for admin account and we created an admin account by default and the normal users can register through this sign up page so let's go and enter the details for our admin the email is admin at the rate test.com and the password is admin after the login of admin we will redirect him to an admin dashboard where he can see already added products admin can uh, click on this uh, category button and he can add the name uh, for the category and description as well and after adding these details he can click on add category button and after a successful api call we will show him a message that category posted successfully after the creation of the category and admin can click on this product button and here he can input the details for the new product so uh, let's select the image for our product and uh, let's uh, select the category as fitness and uh, let's name it as a treadmill and let's put price as 300 and at the end let's put some uh, description and click on add product so here you can see we have a newly created product here and an admin can click on update button and he can update any of the uh, details from here let's say i want to increase the price from 300 to 400 and i will click on update product button and you can see uh, the price got updated after this an admin can delete the product as well so let's click on delete button and as you can see that product got deleted successfully after this we have uh, another button for faqs admin can click on this button and he can add the questions and answers for a particular product okay so let's add one question here and let's add answer as well and let's click on this post faq as you can see uh, faq uh, got posted successfully after adding uh, FAQs, an admin can click on this orders page and here he will view all the orders. After this, an admin can click on uh, this coupons button and he can view all the coupons he created. And then uh, to create a new coupon, he can click on this uh, post coupon and he can write the name of the coupon. So let's write it as first and let's give a code as first. 50 and uh, let's put discount as 50 percent and uh, the expiration date uh, we can give as 30 and he can click on this add button and as you can see we got the message that coupon uh, posted successfully let's go to uh, coupons and here you can see we can see our newly uh, created coupon after this uh, let's log out from this uh, admin section and we will get back to this admin section soon so uh, let's create on sign up and let's create a user account so we can name this as user and the email uh, should be user at the rate gmail.com let's give password as user and after adding the details we can click on sign up button uh, sign up is successful now we can enter the details again and log in okay uh, let's click on login 
and you can see here now we are on the uh, customer size and we can see all of the products on our dashboard uh, we have a search bar here so we can search uh, any product with the name and let's say i i wrote the workout and let's click on this search button and you can see we got the product who has workout in his name after this uh, we can click on the name of uh, any product and we will be redirected to the product details page and here uh, we have the section to show the frequently asked questions to the user and we have uh, a hard button here to add this product in the wish list so let's click on this hard button and this says that product added to wish list successfully now let's go to wish list and we can see the same product here now let's go back to the uh, dashboard and add some products to the cart so i added two products to the cart and to view our cart we can click on this cart button and here we can see all the products plus uh, the total amount and an input for the coupon we can click on this plus icon to increase the quantity of the product and our price will be updated accordingly so uh, let's try to apply a coupon and for this we can uh, write our code in this text box and we can click on apply coupon and as you can see uh, we got a message that coupon not found this means that we don't have any coupon with this name and uh, we will get the same kind of error if uh, the coupon is expired so uh, let's go and uh, correct this name so we'll write as r s t and let's click on apply coupon and as you can say this says a uh, coupon applied successfully and we got 50 percent discount and we have the name of the uh, coupon as well after uh, applying the coupon we can still increase uh, the quantity of the products and our uh, discount will get updated accordingly so uh, now let's click on this place order and here it will ask us for the address and any special instruction which we want to give we can give this in in description section after that we can select the uh, payment method for now we just added the cash on delivery method and after adding these details we can click on this order button to place the order and as you can see uh, the order got placed and we are redirected to another page where we can see the details of our order after this uh, the user can click on this profile button and he can uh, view his email details and uh, name here and he can update his uh, profile as well so i'm giving the picture as example let's add this picture and click on save button and we got the message that uh, profile updated successfully and uh, we have another button to change the password and here we have the input for our old password and we can give our new password we can uh, confirm our password and click on change and this says that password changed successfully now we can go back to our uh, dashboard and uh, now uh, let's log out from our user section and let's log in as admin in the admin side we have a page for the basic analytics we can click on this button and here we have the information about the placed orders about shipped orders and about the delivered orders we have another two small graphics to show the orders for a current month and a previous month and earnings of the current month and a previous month now uh, let's click on this orders tab and here an admin can view all the orders which he received and he can click on this action button to change the status of the order and uh, let's change the status to uh, delivered and as you can see the status got updated now we can go to the analytics 
and in analytics we can see that our earnings and order tab got updated because our order got delivered after this uh, let's log out from this ad admin section and uh, without login we have another page here to track the order we can uh, give here the tracking id and we can click on search and we will get uh, the details of the order and we can get the status of that order as well now uh, let's go to login and log back in as user to uh, review the product after uh, logging in as user we can click on this order button and now uh, here we have a button to review our order and we will show only this button when the order got delivered to the customer so let's click on this review button uh, on this page we can see the details of the products and the total amount of the order and for each product we have a button to review and we can click on this give review button and it will redirect us to a new page where we can select the file or a picture of the product and here we can select the rating so let's say i'm selecting four stars and for the uh, description i can write this was a good product after uh, writing my review i can click on uh, submit and this is that the uh, review posted uh, successfully now uh, let's go back to our dashboard and let's click on the product and here you can see the review uh, got posted so uh, that's it for this video if you have any questions or uh, suggestions you can comment them down below